Hi everyone, and konnichiwa from Osaka, Japan. My name is Graham, and I'm from the channel Little Dreamers at Home. Today, I'm going to show you how to use ordinal numbers. Just a little bit. Hmm, we're doing ordinal numbers, but what are ordinal numbers? Where are they used? And how do we use them? I can answer that question. I wrote something behind me on the whiteboard. Let's go check out what it says. It says, an ordinal number shows the order or position of something. Hmm. Ordinal numbers can be written in words or as a number. Hmm. And all but first, second or third end in th or th. Hmm. I understand that, but we need to simplify more. I'm going to think about it for a minute. I'll be back. I'm back and I thought of an easy way to show you how we can use ordinal numbers. I can show you with a quiz. There are six different colored circles and there are six different colored Legos. Can you show me in order where each of the Legos go? Before we do the quiz, let's count the order of the circles. First, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth. Okay. Hmm. What color is this Lego? And where does it go? It's yellow. And yes, it goes in the first circle. Hmm. What color is this Lego? And where does it go? It's black. And yes, it goes in the Second circle. What's next? What color is this? And where does it go? It's green. And yes, it goes in the third circle. What's next? <gasps> what color is this Lego? And where does it go? It's red, and yes, it goes in the fourth circle. Hmm, what color is this Lego? And where does it go? It's light green, and yes, it goes in the fifth circle. The fifth circle. Lucky last, what color is this Lego? And where does it go? It's blue. And yes, it goes in the sixth circle. Well done, everyone. You help me understand that ordinal numbers show the order something comes in. Next, let's see how ordinal numbers show the place Something comes in. Something fun! Welcome to the Amazing Race! There are seven teachers behind me, standing on the start line, ready to race. Who will win the race? Who do you think will win the race? Or who do you think will be first? Who will be second? 
or who will be third. Let's go ask the teachers their names and why they think they're going to win the race. Let's go! My name is Scott and I think I'm going to win because I can jump really far. My name's Jeremy. I think I'm going to win because slow and steady wins the race. My name is Matt, and I'm going to win because I'm a potato. My name is April, and I'm going to win because I was born to make history. My name is Alice, and I think I'm going to win because I believe in myself. My name is Kauri. I think I'll win because I can jump like a bunny. My name is Hiromi. I think I'll win because I'm fast. Are you ready? Ready. 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 example of how to use ordinal numbers. Days of the week. Do you remember Days of the Week song? Sunday. Hmm? This is not Sunday. This is Saturday. Hmm. Can you tell me what the first day of the week is? Friday. No, not Friday. Oh yes. Sunday. Sunday is the first day of the week. We'll put Saturday over here. So the first day of the week is Sunday. Sunday thir No, not Thursday. What's the second day of the week? Can you tell me? Friday? Saturday? Monday? Okay, we got it right. Monday is the second day of the week. What's the third day of the week? Let's check. Sunday, Monday. Tuesday? Is Tuesday the third day of the week? Yes! What's the fourth day of the week? Can you tell me? Let's check. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. Friday? No, not Friday. Is it Saturday? No. Is it Wednesday? Yes! 
Wednesday is the fourth day of the week. So we have Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Saturday. Saturday is not the fifth day of the week. Can you tell me what the fifth day of the week is? Is it Thursday? Yes! So let's put Thursday here and let's check. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Oh, it's not Saturday. Let's swap these around. The sixth day of the week. Do you know? Can you tell me? Yes! Friday! And the seventh day of the week is? Saturday! Let's check them all, see if they're all in order. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Sunday comes again. We did it! Thank you very much for helping me. I need to go and jump somewhere else and find another example on how to use ordinal numbers. Let's go. Hey, this is the toilet. How did I get in the toilet? Ugh, I don't want to be in the toilet. Try one more time. Let's go find how to use ordinal numbers. I'm outside. Why am I outside? How did I get here? I'm going to try that again. Graham, what are you doing here? I'm sorry, I'm in the wrong place. Uh, I'm outside again. Why am I here? It's not playtime, it's night. I have to go somewhere else. I'm outside. I'm at a shopping center. Well, while I'm here, I might go shopping. Here is another place we can use ordinal numbers. I need to go up to the third floor to buy a calendar. So I need to use the elevator. That's another good place we can use ordinal numbers. Let's go shopping. So I need to go to the third, third floor. The third floor. First, second, and third. Here we are. Well, I did my shopping. I bought my calendar. See, I have my calendar. Now I can write all my friends and my family's birthdays down and I'll always remember. Everyone, thank you very much. I hope you enjoyed the Ordinals video. Before I go, remember, stay safe and wear a mask. <laughs> Just like mine. So everyone, thank you. Bye. Okay everyone, behind me, I have the ordinal numbers and on the right hand side, the ordinal numbers written as words. We have first, second, third, fourth, fifth, and then six, seven, eight, nine, all the way down to 21st, 22nd, 23rd. I have a trick I want to show you. Let's go to the first word and erase all the letters except for the last two and put them over here. And then we have first. Let's do the same with the second word except for the last two letters and put them over here. And we have 
second. Let's do the same with the third word, except for the last two letters, and put them over here, and we have third. And then all the rest, all the rest are TH. Put those over here, fourth, fifth, and they're all the same except for when we get to 21. When we get to 21, which is 21st, we do the same. The last two letters, 22nd, let's raise all these except for the last two. And put them over here, 22nd. And 23rd, let's erase all the letters here. And put the last two letters here, 23rd. And that's how we get ordinal numbers.